Hello everyone, today I am going to explain the installation methods of Comfy UI in 2025. Currently, there are two R installation methods for Comfy UI. One is the traditional installation method. The other is the portable installation method. Lao Abe suggests that if a software has a portable version, it is better to use the portable. Some software, when installed, inexplicably installs unnecessary files. Moreover, the portable version doesn't require reinstallation when you change systems or hard drive locations, which is very convenient. Part 1 Git Installation Search for Git on Google Git Click Git Click here to download the latest version. This is the installation version. This is the portable version. The portable version requires setting the environment variable path, which is less beginner friendly. Git doesn't install unnecessary things. So here we choose the installation version. Click here to download Git. After downloading, click here to run the Git installation. Click the run button. Click the next button. Then keep clicking. Keep clicking. Click until the installation progress bar appears. Cancel view release readme. Click finish to complete the Git installation. Step 2. Download and install the Comfy UI portable version. Come here to search for Comfy UI. Remember to select the GitHub website. After clicking in, scroll down to find the word installing. It says here that this is the portable version. Click here to download. Choose the path where you want to place it. Lao Abe wants to place it on the C drive. It is best if the path here is all in English to avoid issues. It doesn't have to be the same as Lao Abe on the C drive. You can place it anywhere. After choosing the location, save it. This file is about 1.5 GB. Click here to open the file explorer. Extract the file. After extraction, delete the downloaded compressed file. Click into this folder. There are two ways to open Comfy UI here. For those with an NVIDIA graphics card. For those running it with a CPU, Lao Abe has an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'll choose this one to run. When this line appears, the Comfy UI interface will automatically load. Since we haven't downloaded any models yet, this warning appears. You can click here to download the default model. But this model isn't that great. Lao Abe suggests downloading a model you like from Civit AI. Finally, click the X to complete the Comfy UI installation. Step 3. Download a model from Civit AI. Go to the browser and search for Civit AI. Click into Civit AI. Lao Abe likes to use the search method. Suppose Lao Abe wants to search for a Korean beauty model. Just type in Korea to search. The base model here refers to models made with different algorithms, categorized accordingly. There are so many it is dazzling. For beginners, Lao Abe suggests starting with the SD 1.5 model category. After selecting, scroll down the screen. There is a model type here. The type we want to download is checkpoint. After selecting, you can choose your favorite checkpoint on the right. Lao Abe likes this one. Click in. Click the download button to download the checkpoint. The storage location is as follows. Make sure to put it in the right place.
It has to be placed here for Comfy UI to detect it. Click Save. Go back to Comfy UI. Click here to close the tutorial. Click No, Dante Save. This is Comfy UI's default workflow screen. It can be used to test the SD 1.5 checkpoint we just downloaded. This node is a loader. The loader S function is to load the checkpoint. Click here to select a checkpoint. If you can T click it, it is because we just downloaded it and Comfy UI hasn't T detected it yet. You can press the R key on your keyboard to update Comfy UI's nodes. After updating, click here to see the checkpoint you just downloaded. Let us generate an image to test it. Enter positive prompts here. Negative prompts. Click the run button. Comfy UI will start generating the image. This green frame indicates which node Comfy UI is currently processing. OK, generate a bottle. Go back to Civit AI, which hasn't been closed yet, to copy the positive and negative prompts. Click here to copy. Paste it into the positive prompt section. Paste it into the negative prompt section. Click the run button. The image has been generated. That is the installation process for the Comfy UI portable version. If you have any issues following this process, please leave a comment below. If today's video was helpful to you, please remember to subscribe, share, and ring the bell for Lao Abe. Thank you all, and I wish you health and happiness.